Hi everyone. Today I've decided I wanted to make a video about my favorite subject ever, which is horror films. We'll tear your soul apart. Every time I say that I'm a horror movie fan, I always get the same question. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, that is a really tricky question and quite a difficult one to answer, mainly because I don't just have one favorite movie. And every time I have to answer that question, I always say the same. Well, it depends. Mainly because within the horror film industry, there is a lot of subgenres as well. Gender. Gender. Yeah. I never know how to pronounce that word, so you'll have to excuse me on that one. So I found this chart online made by Horror on Screen, and for me, it's quite a good chart that represents the different subgenres that horror movies can be fit in. This is not like the ultimate division of films, but I thought it was pretty accurate. So I'm gonna follow this guide to tell you my favorite horror films. When we talk about gory and disturbing films, some people also call it torture porn. My favorite is uh, the French movie Martyrs. When we talk about psychological horror, The Silence of the Lambs. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Moving on to killers, of course, of hardcore slasher films. Uh, so, my favorite slasher film is. The one, the only, the classic Halloween. Michael? Uh, I love the old ones. I really like the Rob Zombie remakes as well. Behind these eyes, one finds only darkness. These are the eyes of a psychopath. I love Rob Zombie and also I would say that another one of my favorite killer films would be House of a Thousand Corpses. <laughs> All right, moving on to the monster section. I'm gonna stop a little bit longer because um, some of these could be a subgenre on their own. Like, you can see that the zombie section is kind of like highlighted in a um, more vivid green, in more zombie green. Well, because there's a lot of different type of zombies and there's a lot of different ways of killing zombies and different ways of like, you know, surviving a zombie apocalypse. So I would say my favorite um, zombie film could be The Return of the Living Dead. The dead have risen from the grave. Also, it's got this kind of like underground rock and roll vibe onto it, and um, that graveyard scene, amazing. The other little box I want to point out is the vampire ones. Uh, I love good old vampire that burns in the sun and drinks blood. I think the vampire genre has evolved a lot throughout the years from the first Nosferatu film in where the vampire is a horrible creature, quite ugly and disturbing, to the vampires of Interview with the Vampire, which is one of my favorite films. They are like handsome, venerable, ancient creatures and quite charismatic and they're just so romantic as well that, you know, vampire films are great. But my favourite vampire film, I would say, it is uh, Interview with the Vampire or Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula. A frightening and shocking history of Prince Dracula. I have never met any man with such a passion for life. Vampires do exist. This one we fight. <laughs> so beautiful, both of them. For the last subgenre, the paranormal one, my favorite ones would be The Exorcist. Uh, you 
know with The Exorcist and all movies in general, a lot of people are like, oh, but that film is not even scary. Well, it is. Having the control of your body taken away from you, that's the most scary thing that could ever happen to a person. So just because a film doesn't have that many effects or don't even look realistic, that doesn't mean that cannot be a scary. The point of like horror films is kind of like give you that an easiness feeling after you finish watching it. So I think The Exorcist definitely does that. And also I would mention The Sixth Sense. I see dead people walking around like regular people. Do you ever feel the prickly things on the back of your neck? Yes. That's them. How often do you see them? All the time. I just love that film. I remember watching it when I was a kid in the cinema for the first time. It gave me nightmares for a week. Like, true story. But yeah, that's my favourite films for the main five uh, subgenres that we've got in this chart. And now I want to talk a little bit about this plus that that is at the bottom. Comedy horror. Comedy horror, I uh, think it's great. To be honest, I'm not a comedy person. I don't really get comedy films, but with comedy horror, if you have the right balance, you can get really good films. My favourite comedy horror would be Tucker and Dale vs Evil. Uh, called Classic Alien. Horror romance. I don't think there is a thing such as um, horror romance, mainly because in most of the horror films there is romance involved as well. I mean, the first horror movies were inspired by the gothic fiction literature. And the main characteristics of this literature was the paranormal, death, romance. So I think Let the Right One In is a great film, but I wouldn't consider it as horror romance. I would consider it as a vampire film. And then Warm Bodies. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think I'm gonna talk about that one. No. The creepy kid, I wouldn't include that one either. Both the women and the children, I mean, yeah, they have kids. From my point of view, those can be included in the uh, paranormal demon sections. Gothic horror. Gothic horror is definitely my ultimate favorite. Uh, I'm such a hopeless romantic. Anyway, <laughs> my favorite gothic horror, just because I said Dracula on the vampire section, I'm gonna go with Crimson Peak. Ghosts are real. The last one that is here is body horror. Uh, could be my least favorite one, maybe. I mean, the fly is a classic, but yeah. Cool, so now that I've gone through this uh, little chart that we've got in here, I would like to add horror musical. Yes, there is a lot of horror musicals going on. I love musicals and I love horror films, so what's better than a bunch of people singing while getting a stab at the same time? My favorite horror musical is Repo the Genetic Opera. It's just a great film, I think you should watch it. These subgenres are not exclusive. Some of them bleed into each other and that's okay. You can have a, a film about ghosts in where there's also vampires or you can have a slasher film in where the evil person at the end turns into a demon. That's okay, yeah, that's the beauty of it. You know, don't get restricted by the rules. And one last thing I wanna say just before I finish this video is that at the end of the day, when I get asked the question, what's your favorite horror movie? Just because I don't want to give this whole explanation, I always answer the same thing. My favorite ultimate film is The Crow. People once believed that when someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes, just sometimes, the crow could bring that soul back to put the wrong things right.
If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend that film. Like I said, my ultimate favourite. And you should definitely watch it on the 30th of October. When you watch it, you'll find out why. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here because this is getting too long already and I haven't made a video in so long that I don't know if I'm even making any sense. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have watched or if you watch any of the films that I've mentioned in here, please let me know and hopefully see you next time.